Hello and welcome to my Mission Impossible Fallout review. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So today we're going to be talking about Tom Cruise's Mission Impossible Fallout. Also starring Rebecca Ferguson and also starring Simon Pegg. Now this movie is a continuation obviously from the Mission Impossible movies. And I would say this is one of my favorites and I dare say one of the greatest in the series. And also weird enough, this is directed by the same guy who directed Mission Impossible 5, which is weird for the series because every single movie has a different director. And I don't hate any of them. I think even the third one, which isn't my favorite, I would say they all had some moments that were great, great action set pieces and great directors helming these films and I feel like these movies really live up to what an action movie is supposed to be. But as a plot, Tom Cruise's character Ethan Hunt now has to suffer the consequences of leaving these three bombs in the hands of these criminals now without letting these bombs get out to the world and you know annihilating one third of the population of the planet. Now Tom Cruise has to go on the hunt to, you know, save all these people. While also solving the big mystery within. And encompassing all that we've seen in the fifth one, and really con really continuing off from the fifth one, we really see how this movie progresses as a narrative. And this movie as a narrative really works as an action movie. <coughs> This movie as a narrative really works as an action movie. You really get to pay attention to the very itty bitty details, which is also kind of a negative. There are certain times where I kind of dozed off, where I was really not paying attention to certain plot elements, but I do understand what they're going for and I kind of enjoy that aspect. You really have to focus up and see what they're actually giving us as the audience and us for us to clue in and key in. They never really treat us as babies, rather as people who understand the narrative and you know try to piece things like characters would in this movie. And I understand and enjoy that aspect of this movie. It really does work. And as an action movie, let's just talk about that. It's amazing. There are so many action set pieces, so many in fact that you barely have a day to breathe. There, there's like literally like two hours into the movie, like literally 10, 15 minutes before the movie, literally ends, that's when I start looking at my watch. I usually look at my watch in between movies because that's when you know that, hey, the movie isn't picking up. But when you see a movie that's about to end, maybe 10 minutes before the movie ends, that's when you know, oh dang, this movie just riveted me throughout. Like there is literally no way that I could breathe in this movie because they made it so that every action sequence, every single set piece, every single narrative, piece fell in place so you never really had a time to gaze at a watch or gaze at anything you're always constantly looking at the film and i enjoyed that as an action movie it does great wonders as you know tom cruise does all of his stunts or most of his stunts in this movie he does a lot of his stunts and he's really really impressive as an actor scary in fact since he's 53 years old and that's insane. And I also like Henry Cavill. He really, really played the part as a great antagonist or a great counterpart to Ethan Hunt. And I really like the way they kind of put each other or pit each other against each other. It, it worked and I was just amazing how, what they could do. In fact, that one scene in the bathroom when they're fighting this one guy together, that just blew my mind. I saw it in the trailer. In the movie, it's 10 times better. I cannot stress that enough. And there's so many other sequences, and the one sequence that just caught my eye, the one sequence I couldn't really let my eye go to, is the helicopter scene. That, that just blew my mind. There's no way they could have topped that as an action sequence in the next film. There's, I don't know any other way they would do that. It really felt real. It was, it was just great. It was amazing. There's a lot of corny, I guess, unbelievable factors but at the same time it is mission impossible you're supposed to believe the unexpected and i like that dynamic they blew up i am really just excited to see where the next movie goes from this on out i like the fifth one i'm not even gonna hate on that one but the sixth one really showed me that okay narratively and action wise we can make a story that works and fits and just blows 
everyone sucks away. The villains are new and different. I would say they do continue off from the fifth one. And that villain, I like him and I like the way they're playing up the syndicate and they're adding new stuff from the syndicate. I forgot the name, but you know, leave that up to you to watch it. I, I enjoy that aspect. I felt like the villains just get a bit more cartoony, but I, this villain was new. He was different. And I like his motivations. Usually villains don't have the greatest motivations. He's just a good guy, bad guy beating each other up. And I also like the good guy motivation. There's a lot of, like, you know, good guy versus bad guy. And the contrast between those two and what they mean, I really enjoyed that dynamic. It worked for this movie. It, it got me invested for what Tom Cruise stands for. And this movie really shows why his character wants to fight for good. Even though at times you can be like, he could turn on us. He could be a douchebag. He can kick our ass. But he chooses not to. And you see why and what his reasons are. And... It really in makes you invest in this movie and gives you a certain point of perspective on what this character could do. It, it is gritty. It, it just never lets you go. There are certain scenes that I felt like they wouldn't be PG-13. If they just gave it an R rating, it would have been blowing off your socks away. I do agree that it should be PG-13, but god dang, it was just... I was just one step away from like, they, could, they couldn't. They just couldn't. It just would have worked. Uh, I don't know what else to say that this movie really doesn't really suffer from anything Maybe it drags on a little bit and that's just me saying that due to me saying in the beginning That I was kind of throughout the end. I was like, oh, it's a happy ending kind of drags out a little bit. I'm like, okay All right. Yeah Well you know, happy ending. I was trying to get up and just leave because I enjoyed it. I felt like maybe I was a bit too exhausted and I felt, yeah, you know, uh, you just finish it up a little bit. I also like the theme song. Usually I don't really say this about movies or the music. I don't really talk about it. But this movie really had a good theme song or I guess revitalization of a theme song since it isn't the official theme song for this composer. It really worked. Like his music for this film and the sound effects that he added really just it, it worked for the film. It's not the best that this, these movies had but I would say it added a lot. Uh, I don't really don't have anything else much to really say looking at the notes here but yeah that's all I could really say as a negative. There's very few in fact and we can't really complain about the CGI, it was perfect. The stunts were all real, so it's very little in fact. The plot alone, although cartoony and over the top, but yet they make it believable and make you susceptible to believe in how grand and how amazing Tom Cruise and his plot to do all of this is. It just really works and all these characters come in. Simon Pegg has a lot of great moments and the one thing I like about Simon Pegg and I've seen this in a lot of movies is that he has great comedic timing. Even in movies that he's not part of maybe the Mission Impossible series, I would say that he has the greatest comedic timing. Even in this movie where an action movie it's really hard to do comedy. We've seen that from Michael Bay. We see it here and it's just done so perfectly. There are times where I'm just like yeah. That's, there's no other way they could have, like, did that. That was perfect. And it just made you, like, sigh. Like, okay, great. Sub the pegs here. That's, that's amazing. Uh, I, I don't have any other negatives or anything negative to say about this movie. Except for maybe there are times where it does drag on a little bit. Just a little bit. And it's not too much, though. I feel like the runtime is perfect for this movie. But at the same time, throughout the end, it does run out a little bit. And maybe even towards the end, I feel like that whole plot kind of just, you know, gets a bit mumbled. And, you know, hinges on, hinges on a little bit of a... It's impossible, but you know, like the name suggests, I guess they follow through. I will see you guys in the next movie review, or I guess next video. Pieces, deuces, whatever it is. Let me know if you like this movie. Adios.